This video is sponsored by nobody. Let's tear into this shit. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know what I feel like I'm doing? Downloading malware intentionally. Dollar Shave Club VPN, that's me, kids. If you follow me and click the link on the description that's not actually there, you get absolutely nothing. This is the first, last, and only time I'm opening this damn thing. Starting this new channel off with a bang, aren't we? You've heard the spill. You've heard the scripted bullshit. You've heard of this damn game, and you've had it shoved down your throat harder than a horse cock on 500 Viagras. Anyway, if you clicked on this video, you're as curious as I am. Or maybe you just like to torture yourself as much as I do. So what is this abomination to mankind that's on literally every fucking YouTube video? But before that, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I deeply hate you all. Raid Shadow Legends. Man, it feels dirty to even have that come out of my mouth. Oh, it's some freaking mobile game RPG thing. And apparently they got millions of dollars worth of advertising sunk into this shit. Man, if they would have marketed Bubsy half as good as they market Raid Shadow Legends, he probably would have did better. Would have still been shit, but it sold more. They're making every YouTuber feed us this crap. How did that spill go again? The most immersive RPG experience you'll find on a smartphone anywhere. Forget everything you think you know you about mobile lying. games. Raid you is are change full it all. of shit. The game shit. is totally free. Shut it's got an amazing storyline, awesome 3D Nobody graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds I've of champions to collect and customize. Four year old now that's that's the John, John, buddy, I love you, but this video is literally called Buying Dumb Things Online. So let's dive into this rabbit hole that is Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, I hate even saying it. Uh, I, got, I gotta say it enough so where it's out of my mind. Raid Shadow Legends, Raid Shadow Legends, free shower curtain. So apparently the developer is some Israeli company called Plarium. They were founded in 2009, and ever since then they've made nothing but Facebook games and mobile games. Not one console release, not one PC release, just mobile bullshit. Until recently, when they ported Raid Shadow Legends to PC. That's why I'm bothering to fuck with it, because I wasn't about to play this shit on my damn iPhone. But apparently they have made billions of fucking dollars on these damn mobile and Facebook games because people from fucking Wired UK and a bunch of other companies have said that they're just like gigantic. And you don't need me to tell you that that money is coming from microtransactions. Money! My question is, who are these people that are playing these games and getting so far into them that they gotta pay money to play them? This ain't fucking Farmville. Granny's not paying $50 to play Raid Shadow Legends, especially when they can be like that one grandma that plays Skyrim. I bet Todd Howard calls her mommy. Uh, okay, it just got through downloading. Hey, it's got a launcher. That's nice. More shit that I gotta install. I'll put that right next to you. Play Origin, Rockstar, Steam, GOG Galaxy, GOG Galaxy, whatever. I call it GOG. Are there more? I feel like there's more. Okay, it's been three minutes of me screaming and hollering. I gotta actually play this fucking thing now. Raid Shadow Legends. More like Load Asset Legends. It's been about half an hour of this shit. As soon as you start the game up for the first time, it immediately starts lying to you. It makes you think you're gonna start into this, like, story mode where you got all these characters that seem to all have their own personalities and stuff. You know, like an RPG game. So you click on bad guys, listen to cutscenes, blah blah blah. It's like, oh, okay. So this actually looks like a game of some kind. Not a great game, but too early to call it shit. Every dragon has a weak spot. If I can hit it just right. Okay, that's kind of funny. But trust me, that's the only interesting part of this entire game is that one fucking scene. And it kind of lays down the law of how the whole game is going to play out. These characters mean absolutely nothing. Nata. These are actually the characters you're going to select as your own main character, and soon that won't matter either. Because throughout the game, you're going to collect a shitload of other characters, and no, they won't have any personality either. So what do all of these little stats mean? Well, 
Whoa, I'm not reading all that. You might make fun of me for saying that, but soon you'll realize I didn't have to read any of this. You literally do not even have to know how to play the game to play the game. What's funny is it does have a story, but it's just like copy-paste World of Warcraft fanfiction.txt. Many moons had passed since the War of Duesenberg, headed by the great evil Lord Maserati. But within the ruins of the great village Dingleberry, one chosen hero with a peepee -pee hard as a sword would swing the magic cock to defeat Lord Maserati and save the kingdom of Duesenberger. The brave knight, sir, asks for your money a lot. It does have a battle system of sorts. In fact, it looks like they put a lot of effort into it. That's the thing. Everything looks complicated. Looks like a lot of work was put into it. But let me tell you something about the gameplay mechanics they put over the gameplay mechanics. In fact, I came up with a word for them anti-gameplay mechanics. This game, oh my god, it takes every literal definition of the phrase hold your hand and personifies it into this little electronic gizmo we call a video game. There is a long ass tutorial, which by the way, I had to stop playing because the game had to download some more. I was halfway through the tutorial and had to do this. But during this tutorial, it tells you all about these battle and gameplay mechanics that you gotta go through and how the enemies work and how your attacks work and how the inventory works, blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking, wow, they really put some work into this. There's a lot going on in this game. Yes, there is, but oh, you ain't gotta worry about all that. Just put it on auto, yes auto yeah it's not the first rpg to have an auto feature on it even earthbound had that but it was a little bit more slow paced and you still had to keep an eye on it somewhat this game not only can you turn it on auto but you can also turn up the speed of the game so it will play faster. Imagine playing Pokemon on an emulator. Yeah, I could just stop right there. And you went in the emulation settings and turned the emulator speed all the way up. And then you just turn on auto fire for one of the buttons, like the A button or something. And then you set something really heavy on top of that one button and go take a shit. Or if I just made videos that are nothing but a furry with his arms crossed. And if that ain't enough, get ready for this. They make it to where it's easy for you to farm experience points. You see this right here that says multi-battle on it? You can play the same stage over and over and over, up to 15 times over, and it will even keep going if all your characters die. It will just play the next turn again. You've heard of Luigi winning by doing absolutely nothing? That's this entire game. Set it on auto and let the game play itself. You don't need to put any effort into this. You don't have to strategize. You're too powerful anyway, so your regular attacks just work. You literally do not have to try in this game at all. I don't have to try making these videos, but I still try to make them look somewhat visually appealing. I gotta do something i talk too slow and too long the game holds your hand and does everything for you even upgrading your weapons it's got this thing that's kind of a gamble where you gamble some of your money the end game money mind you but we'll get to that in a bit and if the shit works you upgrade your weapon to a different level technically you do still have to click on a few things to get to the weapon upgrade but you can like make it automatically upgrade to a certain level so even even if it fails a couple of times, it will just try again. So there's almost like no, no reason to just steadily push the button and gamble. And it takes even more of that sense of accomplishment out of this game because it's not you doing it, it's the game. The game is playing itself. Technically, the game doesn't need you at all. That's the future of gaming right there. Games that play their self, they don't even need you. Just like my parents didn't want me. And at the very start of the game, you can just go ahead and make yourself completely OP. You can fuck up the balance of the difficulty and everything like that by upgrading the weapons until they can't be upgraded no more. 
Cut on that multi-battle bullshit and boom, the game just plays. The game hardly ever needs you at all. I tell you what the game wants from you from time to time. Yeah, you was waiting for me to get to that, wasn't you? I must have clicked X on 20 windows of shit trying to sell me these little gems and bullshit for the game. Like $30, $40, $50. Look, you could spend $100 on this game in multiple ways. What the shit? No wonder these people make so much damn money. These fucking microtransaction things are just a bigger cash cow than arcade machines ever were. Have you ever thought about that? Like, arcades could be considered the the old version of microtransactions. And just put another quarter in and you can play again. Like, imagine if putting a quarter in Pac-Man makes you play Pac-Man, but putting 75 cents in gives you a health bar. <laughs> and putting $10 in gives Pac-Man a fucking hat. This could almost be a rant on DLC in general, but the fact that it costs so damn much on some of these platforms is just, it's, it's just crazy, especially on mobile. It's highway life robbery how is this even legal it's not a slot machine it's not gonna throw money back at you you just keep putting money in i'll throw a hundred dollars at a slot machine before i will a fucking mobile game on my damn iphone not just because i'm a compulsive gambler but because i have cents i have cents and i want dollars there's a boomer joke for you okay let's be honest with each other what do you think of when you think of a good rpg you think of something like final fantasy maybe final fantasy especially the early ones throw you right into the action and you have to start thinking about how you're going to take care of these enemies that are coming after you you got all these moves and you got all these different characters that do all kind of different things and each character and each move has a reason to be you have to think about the choices you make when you're fighting somebody because your enemy could be weak or could be resilient to whatever you throw at it and the more you fight the more you level up the more powerful you become and it feels like an experience it feels like something that you're accomplishing you worked for all that it's part of the the adventure your character has gained experience and you as a gamer have gotten experience from playing it's almost like work almost but the key to a good game is to not make it feel like work feel like you're accomplishing something make it feel fun make it feel exciting you're putting strength and personality into these special characters. And it's all worth it to be able to take on Uncle Big Bad at the top of that castle. Does Raid Shadow Legends have any of that shit going on? If it did, I wouldn't be making this video. You know how their motto is, forget everything you thought a mobile game was? No, this is everything a mobile game is. This is the epitome of mobile game. Boring gameplay, what little there is of that. Microtransactions up the asshole less effort put into making an actual entertaining game that you can sit there and play for hours and more effort put into finding other ways to pull money out of your pocket that is every mobile game that was designed from the ground up to be a mobile game period raid shadow legends just like every other big mobile game is a scam so yeah it's everything you thought it was and i wasted a whole bunch of my life sitting here recording this video recording gameplay footage for this video just to tell you what you already thought this game was every one of you youtubers who back this game should be ashamed of yourself and i know i'm losing an opportunity to get money here but let's be honest they weren't going to sponsor me my accent is not their demographic maybe i'll holler at world of tanks next make them mad at me but anyway that's me i'm Stu. that's this video goodbye everybody i hope you liked this old video and if you liked it uh let me here let me hear you in the comments section give me some likes and shit get on there in the comments tell me what you like what you don't like see what i can change you can find my socials there in the description i do streams now and again and if you want to donate some money to me to say hey i like your shit you can put it on coffee that's k-o-f-i coffee i don't do patreon but i'm thinking about it let's just see where the channel goes but i'm gonna get out of here you be good all right we'll see you